Let's turn right now to our chief meteorologist, Craig Setter, with the latest on the flood watch still in effect and the strengthening ADA heading towards the floor, the west coast of Florida, right, Craig? Yeah, that's right. Unfortunately, uh, not a good looking situation tonight for our friends in the Tampa Bay area as the models have shifted farther to the east. Here's what's going on first close to home. We are seeing a few little showers coming up across the upper keys. They're going to pass on into South Miami Dade. Nothing really for Broward for the time being. So we're looking a little bit quieter compared to this time last night. Some of these showers, though, will contain some gusty winds and could exacerbate the flood situation just a little bit where the flood watch remains in effect. Here's what's going on, though. There is Ada this evening now moving to the north at a pretty good clip there. Uh, it's going to be passing west of Key West, but close enough to brush with at least some wind and some showers. Wind gusts could be over 40 miles an hour as we go through the night tonight and then through the day tomorrow. Here's our rainfall potential. The computer models of this most recent run have gone down a little bit. Still the possibility of some one to two inch amounts in the uh, in the area of Miami-Dade and Broward, and that could cause a little bit of flooding. A little bit heavier amounts in the Keys, but look at that. That's the big swath of six to 10 inch rain going up with the core of Ada, which came over us just a few days ago. 65 mile an hour winds. The pressure has been steady, but it could start going down a little bit. North, northeast now, not north, north, northeast now at nine. And now we have tropical storm watches for much of the west coast from Fort Myers through Sarasota, Tampa Bay. Tropical storm watches to the north of that. Tropical storm warning for dry Tortugas, but not Key West. There's the threat cone, and you can see uh, this is the 7 a.m. position for Thursday, but these are the tropical storm conditions. That's the yellow area that we're concerned about here, running basically from about uh, Bonita Springs all the way up the coast to Cedar Key. After that, the storm is forecast to slow down and turn to the northeast. This is going to be a big, big rainmaker. We've uh, dealt with the flooding. Now those folks up there are going to be dealing with the flooding as well. In terms of the probabilities, they are highest in the Tampa Bay area, around 61, 62 percent. Down here, they're not exactly zero, uh, but the chances are pretty low that we're going to have to deal with anything close to home. In terms of what's going on overnight tonight, just some spotty storms, gusty downpours tomorrow, very breezy, some quick storms. The weekend is looking better. More on that coming up.